What's going on y'all? This is Rashad from RashadBeats.com. Welcome back to another Beatner 101 tutorial. And today we are going to be doing a harp melody. Simply a harp melody. And as you can tell, this is going to be one of those videos where I just strictly focus on the melody. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I construct it. And I'm going to show you guys um, basically how the harp sounds with a certain, you know, cadence. So... In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a harp, a beautiful harp melody. So let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to actually replace one of these samplers with uh, X-Pan. And let's see. So let's replace this and put X-Pan in. X-Pan, I love X-Pan because it has a lot of great uh, instrument sounds like guitar sounds. And a lot of these sounds are very rich. Um, let's see, let's go to strings, soft harp. So let's do a test real quick, see if you guys can hear this. And I'm going to switch to my primary drive so you guys can, can, can hear it better. Okay, so I have my MIDI as well. We're gonna run with. Okay, so let's do. What's that? That's D sharp, F sharp, B, D, uh, D, oh, excuse me, D sharp, F sharp, B, D sharp, or B. So that's D sharp, F sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp, B. So let's start with these chords first Two, three, four. and because my primary driver uh it, or because my you know my audio settings is on primary driver whatever i put in the midi controller is gonna lag so we're just gonna deal with that and construct it using our mouse so now that we have our first chord, let's continue to keep breaking it up. And the key was well, harping. If you look at somebody doing or using a harp, they strum it almost the same as a guitar, but instead of using, you know, one hand with the with the on the frets, they got both hands on strings. So we're going to emulate that feeling. Let's find the next chord. So the next chord would be. So that is that's E G B E G. So let's try that. And let's finish constructing it on the piano roll so basically you know it's trial and error when you're dealing with with uh beats in general but also with melodies you just want to really find a rhythm that makes the most sense and complete it So now let's find a third chord that'll kind of change the mood. Try that. 
and that is these are all black keys so f sharp a sharp c sharp f sharp and a sharp and then we're just gonna fix the way the timing is and then we just need one more to kind of complete it So this next chord will be F sharp, F sharp, B, D, F sharp, B. And then we could probably bring it back down, so. Okay, I messed that last chord up, but we can fix that. Now that we have basically our completed rhythm, we're just going to refine it and make sure that um, it makes sense total. And then we can listen to it forever. And then we have a harp loop. And usually when I do, whenever a chord is off time, I just move it back by highlighting. I'm going to show you guys one more time. I went a little too fast. Highlight it. With your, with your select tool and then what I usually do if I don't have it selected on none or if I have it on my one third step since I oh I have it on my one third step I'll just hold uh, I hold control hold control so highlight and then you'll be able to move freely so move your chords freely according to the timing that you want so I want it to hit at the four because that is on par with the tempo. All right, and then let's loop it. And then we're gonna change the ending, just like how I showed you guys in the guitar tutorial as well. We're gonna change the variable at the end so it, it won't be the same when it loops for the next, for the next couple bars. Add a couple just adding a couple of notes on this on the five to the nine when you get to the five to the nine usually um when i get to the five to the nine i i change the notes and add a couple more notes to make the melody loop perfectly or not perfectly to make the the melody loop differently so it doesn't loop the first one to the five you want your last five to nine to be different so it won't be the same thing as you can tell they're different there's more notes added it's not the same exact copy it's not copy and paste and also cut these ends off too so you loop a loop so this is cool. Yeah, so that's basically how you make a harp melody in FL Studio. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I just want to thank you guys for appreciating Beat Nerd. It means a lot to me that I can make these quick videos, these quick tutorials, and uh, you know, actually help people. So I just wanted to say shout out to you guys for keeping me going. You guys are the best. I'm gonna have a lot more content coming up. 
please be on the lookout for more tutorials and also if you haven't got your hands on the 10 video course the actual beat nerd 101 course you can sign up below um in the description below you can sign up and you'll be able to uh run through and actually get the course with that being said i just want to thank you guys once again for tuning in to another beat nerd 101 tutorial uh please subscribe if you like this please subscribe please leave comments leave everything below if, if you have anything that you want me to uh talk about and do a tutorial about please let me know I'll, I'll be sure to get with you and let you know if i can do it or not um and most likely i will be able to do it so thank you guys for tuning in rashad beats beat nerd 101 out